Hello and welcome back to another video on my survival world. I actually have been doing a bit of building because over here I was kind of running out of food so I made a little sheep farm and a wheat farm which actually considering I started with two sheep is doing pretty well. We can see if we can breed them now and I'm pretty happy because like there was no food here like I was eating rotten flesh at one point so I'm Quite happy with this but I'm trying to breed these guys up so I'm not like killing them yet and I think that maybe though rather than doing oh my my flower rather than doing more building now it might be a good idea to just get some gear because I right now have no armor and I'm using stone tools but whilst building this I actually did find some iron so I think that before we go caving I might just want to turn this into a bit of tools Whilst it's smelting, I actually want to show you, I have a pet chicken now, I found an egg, and let's see, how am I just so lucky, okay, I'm not going to kill you, because I like chickens, but I, the, I have two chickens over here, which I made from babies, and all my chickens, they just go in here now, this is their home, they're not allowed, no, please go back in, please, please, this is the chicken house, I'll turn it into something better, and also I need names for the chickens, I'm not sure what to call them, but they need names, and has the iron spawned, yeah, okay, we have two ingots, so I think I'm definitely going to need a shield, how do I make a shield? I think it's like that. Okay, so we have a shield. And I think I might also need an iron chest plate, which to protect me, because once I do have a shield, hello, um, I think it might be better to have armor rather than a weapon. So if I just let this melt, then I can make that. And we're gonna have one left over, so you know what? I think I might make a shovel. Because over here. I've been doing a lot of digging to get some dirt on me. Like, I've made this giant hole just to get some dirt, and I'm not really sure why, but, you know, I need dirt. And, actually, I did find a bit of iron there, I think, which is where some of my iron came from. So, you know, maybe I should make a shovel with my extra one bit of iron, because after today, we're going to be covered in iron gear. Like, we're going to be rich. You know, maybe even have some diamonds. So... Hopefully this has finished smelting now, because I've blocked myself out. It hasn't. Okay, we can make our iron chest plate now. Now, I want to keep my iron shovel safe, so I'll just leave it in my wood chest. And actually, I've been a bit more organised. We have the miscellaneous chest. Uh, the mortal miscellaneous chest, but it kind of has some seeds and wheat and stuff. And then we have this chest, which is very organised. It's got all my dirt, all my cobble, all my sand, which I'm actually going to need for, I think, probably when I have villagers. Which I'm hoping to do soon, even though I haven't seen a village yet. And actually, I think I know where a cave is. So if I actually get some of this and turn it into torches, it might be kind of useful. Now, I actually do know where a cave is. I found an azalea tree down here. And I think those usually mean they're on top of lush caves. So I dug over there a little staircase which I think goes down into a mine shaft, so hopefully we can get loads of iron from there. I'm actually going to equip my chest plate, so now I've got three armor bars. So if I go down here, there's a little staircase which goes into a cave. So we're here now, and I think that like you can immediately over here just see bits of iron and oh, and a skeleton. Um, okay, we have to try, try not to die. Because I actually brought one bit of food, which, I mean, we can try last on one bit of food. I, I believe in myself. Maybe if I light this up first, then hopefully no mobs will spawn. Oh, oh, there's the lush cave. I was wondering where. Okay, if I um block this, he shouldn't be able to get to me. And there's a mine over here, which is very nice, very nice. Oh, okay. Let's be careful going down here. Some more iron. Any more guys? I don't think so. We should be okay, so let me just like, you know, sneak and try not to walk into lava. Wow, that was close. Okay, wait, where did the iron go? It's over here. And I'm gonna try not to get lost in these caves because like, I feel like that's one of the main reasons that like, you die, you know, you're trying to find your way back, you lose all your stuff and then you can't find it. So let me just, and I'm, I'm getting some good iron here. I've already got like 11 bits, which is very good. I see a massive cave down there, but like, there will definitely be good stuff there, but 
There's a creeper right there, so I think I'm just going to get a bit more stuff and maybe come back here when I've got full armour, because actually, I think I could probably get full gear with the iron I have now. So I think I might go up, smelt all this, and then come back and try to go down this cave. So now I just need to find my way back from this kind of maze I have over here. I'm back with some gear and some tools and I think I can do this. I've got loads of torches. I'm intending on just lighting the whole thing up so that like if I come here another time it won't be all full, filled with mobs. I'm also going to add a staircase here so I can easily get out when I need to. But I think this should be okay. I can do this without dying. I just need to you know, try and light this up, maybe get some stuff, like the iron that's behind this. It's just hiding behind these vines. And I really think, because this is deep cave, like, if I go down to the bottom, there might be diamond. Like, if I go down, I don't know, what's the wide level here? Four. So down there could be close to diamond level. I have no torches now. <gasps> diamonds, diamonds, diamonds! I was just going to say, I've got no torches, I might need to go back. No, I don't. I've just found diamonds. I'm so rich. I'm not going to stop caving ever. I've got no coal. I've got like, I still got a bit of food. I'm going to be fine. Yay, I'm so happy. Oh, I didn't even like, oh, I'm so happy. I think I'm just going to go around and really try not to die. Like, you know, keep F3 on because then I know where I died. But yeah, I actually have no idea where I am. I think I'm going to go back up to the main cave. This is, I'm just very good. I'm so happy I'm gonna continue caving now. So I think that here I'm going to make a fisherman's hut. Now it's not me for fishing, it's going to be a mine. But no one has to know that, like, you know, I'll know and that's all that matters. So I think that I might plan out some of this. I actually, it had a hole in it, so I think that I did most of this. So if I flatten some of this out, I can make a nice little hut and then a mine underneath. So maybe I can mine for some, yeah, it hits the hole. Mine for some more diamonds. Because two is pretty good, like I can get an enchanting table with this, but I can't get much more than that. So I think I might want to try and mine more diamond. But the best way to get diamond gear, and I mean the best way to get diamond gear, is with villagers. And I haven't seen a village yet, like at all, so I might go exploring for that like in the next video. But I think now I'm going to build my little fisherman's hut over there. So I'm going to do that and then we can come back and see what it looks like. Hopefully it doesn't look horrible. All of my chickens despawned, so now I have all of these guys. But I'm so sad. I had those guys for so long. I went to go get some copper because the thing is almost done. Okay, I think this is his farm, so I'm probably going to get it today because it's not doing too good. Uh, copper is so annoying to get, but I mean, I might as well show you it now, might I? So we have our little, oh, we have our little skeleton over here. Oh annoying guy interrupting me while I'm showing my build. You have no manners. Anyway, so I've made this and it's got a copper roof. I think I'll prefer it when it gets to like the blue kind of copper. But I think this is pretty good, my little fishing hut. I might add a bridge here. But this is it. So it's pretty cool. It's got this little thing on the side that does nothing. It's got two floors. The inside, you know, the bottom floor of the inside is pretty good but then I mean it's raining right now and you can kind of tell that the roof is not completely finished but this took about like probably like five or six stacks of copper like raw copper and it's really annoying and also down here if I get my pickaxe out I've used up a lot of my own tools is in my little copper mine I have and yeah I think that soon this will be like diamond level but at this point I don't know if I'll get that far and Oh no, oh, okay. I don't know how long it will take me to get that far because to be fair, I have two diamonds but I don't really need any. And I think that also in the next video it'll be good if I go exploring because I know that I explored here but I still haven't found a village and I think that maybe one of the floors for this or even another built, another skeleton. I know. Did you not see what I did to the last skeleton? So annoying. Okay. Oh, a boat. Okay, that's really good. Let's go shoot some skeletons. Oh no, I missed. Yes, take aim. I'm doing all of the advancements. 
you know, it's going to take me like three days to do all these advancements. At this rate, look how many I've done. There's not much in these two tabs. Look how many I've done. I've got to get diamond gear and all that stuff now. So I'm doing pretty good. And I've done my little hut. And I think that'll be the end of this episode. But in the next one, I will not leave things unfinished. I will get some villagers. I will get some diamond gear. And I will finish this hut. So... I'll see you in the next video and it will stop raining because I don't like being all wet in the rain underwater. Goodbye.